Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super excited to do a topic in the style track. I really like his songs. I feel like they're really minimal in the production, but really effectively done. So we're going to dive straight into FL and see how close we can get to his sound. So of course, it'd be stupid not to use a synth topic on this one. So we're going to grab the topic preset from Car Music Volume 3. And this is what it sounds like. And I've created a really simple chord progression for this. There's already some onboard delay on here, but I just want to add a bit more reverb externally just to kind of build a bit more spacing to the whole sound. And as always, we're going to do this combo of BX Digital and the reverb. This is what it sounds like with the effects. So without it, it sounds quite small. Even though the synth is really well produced, it just helps you make the whole thing sound bigger. So the next kind of sound we're going to make is a drone. Um, and I always notice he does this in his productions. It's always a really minimal drone that gets louder in the mix as the whole track's progressing. And it just helps to build a vibe and build up the tension a bit more before the drops. So we're using a synth preset here called Rising String, and it sounds like this. And I've just got it playing an A here in two octaves. And then here we've got all the automation settings. We've got some volume increasing. And then of course, we've got a bit of kickstart coming in when the sidechain hits on the drops. And I also feel like a huge part of his sound is the vocals that he uses, which are always low formant vocals or deep male vocals. So with that in here as well, I think we'd already be quite close. So we're gonna use this preset here called breaking for the first bass sound. And you can see I've created some really basic MIDI for it uh, using the same root note as the chords. So this is a bit more of a deep subby kind of sound. So we've gone from using a synth called breaking to now me. So it kind of makes sense breaking me, you know, we had to, we had to do it. This sound sounds like this. So it's quite like an analog dry kind of sounding bass. And if we combine the two sounds together. But I still feel like we could layer in some more basses to give a bit more texture and to just make it feel bigger. So I'm going to layer in this sound here called infinite. And then this one here called head and shoulders, which has got a nice attack to it. So the next two sounds are really, really important textures that he uses in a lot of his tracks. This is called Womp No, and it sounds like this. And then we've also layered in this synth here called Big Slide. And these two sounds are alternating between each other. So you've got like the first Womp one and then just a slide, like a bass slide. And then all together with the whole rest of the bass line, we've got this. Another sound I've noticed he uses often is like a completely wet guitar sound. Um, and this just helps to give an organic texture to the whole song. So here's what I've used from Car Music Volume 3. It's a synth called E-Piano, and I just felt like it had a similar texture to a guitar. And it's kind of got like an organic feel to it, and it does a nice job in the background just as a completely wet synth, just to add some ambience. Let's get some drums in here now, starting with a kick. Next up, the clap. And his hi-hats tend to be shakers or hi-hats with a really, really short decay. Um, but that's the whole thing that gives it that really tight groove. And now I've chucked in some cymbal reverses and downlifters as well. And then I've also added a really short, subtle snare feel. Let's now go and take a listen to the whole thing all together and see how it sounded. So that sums up the production for today. I'm quite happy with how this one turned out, to be honest. Let me know down below if you liked it as well, or if you thought it was trash, and let us know what you want to see in the next videos as well. Um, but if you want to play around with this project, we will be linking that one down below so you can have a go uh, in FL Studio. Thank you very much for watching. Smash the like button, hit subscribe down below, and we'll catch you soon.